watching you. Residential status. From exam point of view, it is very, very important thing. And for the purpose of tax liability calculation, basic exemption limit will be determined. So for the purpose of determination of basic exemption limit, we need to know residential status of us. And for the purpose of which income is taxable to whom on the basis of residential status itself, individual's income will be decided. Which income is taxable, which income is not taxable. In India, okay, as per Income Tax Act 1961, total income and its incidence of tax, okay, scope of income and incidence of tax will be determined based on the residential status. So this is very important point from the exam point of view. So let us discuss today residential status. What it is? Residential status. One thing you need to remember, residential status we need to determine for each and every year. For every previous year, we need to determine the residential status of any person. Person includes? Person includes? Individual, HEF, AOP, DOI, artificial person, any other artificial judicial person or, or local authority. For all these people, residential status is determined. On the basis of residential status, what happens? Scope of income as well as basic exemption limit will be determined. Suppose, suppose, uh, for the purpose of, for example, I am telling, if individual is there, in case of individual, okay, in case of individual, we need to determine basic exemption limit. So, first we will see is residential status. If individual is there, for the purpose of individual, in the last class also we have discussed. So, I will write this one in the middle. How Residential status will be determined, we will see later. But how it will be used, that I am going to tell you. So, suppose there is an individual. This individual residential status, we need to see. So, so individual can be for the purpose of what? Individual for the purpose of Residential status for the purpose of two things. Residential status based on based on residential status. Residential status. What happened? Based on the residential status, basic exemption limit will be determined. So basic exemption limit. Basic exemption. Limit scope of income, scope of income, and incidence of tax. Incidence of tax will be based on the residential status of individual. In case of individual, we are discussing. For whom we are discussing first? In case of individual. Suppose individual is a individual can be one, he can be resident, other he can be non-resident. Suppose individual is non-resident. Individual is non-resident. For non-resident, basic exemption limit will be rupees 2,50,000. How much? Rupees 2,50,000 is the basic exemption limit for non-resident. Individual is non-resident, his basic exemption limit will be 2 lakh 50. Suppose individual is resident. Individual is what? Resident. Okay. If he is resident, then on the basis of age, we need to determine. On the basis of age. On the basis of 
age okay on the basis of age what happens basic exemption limit will be determined so one below 60 years below 60 years between 60 to 80 years and 80 to 80 above 80 and above so age age below 60 years age below 60 years we call him as non senior citizen what what he, he will be non senior citizen age below 60 years will be considered as what non senior citizen for him basic exemption limit will be rupees 2 lakh 50000 how much for him it is rupees 2 lakh 50000 age below 60 years below means less than 60 years he should be resident first if he is resident based on the age basic exemption limit will be given suppose he is of age of above 60 but below 80 so between between age between 60 to 80 years how many years 60 to 80 years will be called as senior citizen how he will be called senior citizen thoda nazdik se dekhe bhai unko dikhai de raha senior citizen aajkal ke logon ko to sabko classes aa rahe generally 60 to 80 years 60 to 80 years will be called as senior citizen for them for them basic exemption limit will be basic exemption limit will be rupees 3 lakhs how much rupees 3 lakhs based on residential status okay individual will be considered as for the purpose of basic exemption limit if he is resident on the basis of age non senior citizen senior citizen next 80 and above here 60 to 79 we need to consider okay okay between it is so here ha uh, age greater than or equal to 80 years how many years 80 years yes, less than 60 years age here it is greater than or equal to 80 years then will be called as super senior citizen aapko example ke liye maine thode naam bataye so here it will be rupees 5 lakhs Here it is rupees five lakhs. Okay, so one thing for the purpose of residential residential status will be used for determining basic exemption limit. So if he is non senior citizen, non resident, no age limit, irrespective of age, basic exemption limit two lakh fifty thousand. For resident, on the basis of age, senior non senior citizen two lakh fifty thousand. senior citizen senior citizen 3 lakh rupees super senior citizen 5 lakh rupees this is what about basic exemption limit uh based on the residential status so residential status is very much important okay in case of hef also in case of hef also it is 2 lakh 50000 basic exemption limit okay for the purpose of hef MOP BOI also two lakh fifty thousand is basic exemption limit. For company, for company there is no basic exemption limit. For the uh, partnership firm there is no basic exemption. Limit. Okay. So next is what in our topic. Next one is scope of income and incidence of tax. 
this is also based on the residential status itself this is also based on the residential status so on the basis of residential status for the purpose of scope of income and incidence of tax assc a individual will be assc who is an individual he will be categorized as resident and ordinary resident resident but not ordinary resident resident but not ordinary resident non resident three categories are there how many are there three categories are okay in case of resident and ordinary resident in case of who resident and ordinary resident indian income is taxable indian income is taxable here also indian income is taxable indian income okay are you at the one Instead of writing in that way, you can write it in other way. Indian income. Indian income means taxable to whom? Resident and ordinary resident. Okay. So here I will write taxable. For resident, ordinary resident also Indian income is taxable. Okay. For non-resident, for non-resident, Indian income is taxable. Sir, what is Indian income? Income accrued or deemed to accrue in India. Income accrued or arises in India is Indian income. income received or deemed to be received in india is also indian income if source of income is in, in india it is treated as indian income if source of income is not in india and uh, but it is received in india then also it is indian suppose you are working in abroad but but you are receiving cash in india so income is received in india If income is received in India, are deemed to be received in India. Section nine is there under section nine. Okay, for the purpose of the uh, Indian income, deemed Indian income one concept is there. What is deemed means assumed. If an employee, government employee is there, who is working abroad as foreign ambassador. Okay, is working for our country. Okay. and in foreign country and is receiving salary in india then also it is taxed is working where outside india is receiving income also outside india but what it will be treated it is deemed to be received in india when it is deemed to be received in india it is indian okay so what is indian income means okay indian income income accrued or arises in india or deemed to accrued or arise in india this is one thing indian income means one more is there income received or either it should be accrued or arised in india or it should be deemed to accrue or arise in india then it is called indian income so income received or deemed to be received Are deemed to be received 
in India. That is Indian Empire. Indian Empire. Indian Empire means Indian income is income accrued or arise in India or demo to accrue or arise in India. Next, income received in India or demo to be received in India is Indian income. Clear? Next, foreign income. Next one is foreign income. Foreign income. Foreign income. Please be careful with the foreign income. Resident and ordinary resident, it is taxable. For resident and ordinary resident, it is taxable. For, for resident, but not ordinary resident. For resident, but not ordinary resident. If such income is having business or profession connection in India, then it is taxable. Okay. Foreign income, having Having business or profession. Business, okay, foreign in income, having business or profession set up in India is taxable. Other than this, it is not taxable. If it is foreign income, such foreign income should be relating to business or profession, which should be set up in India, then it is taxable. Otherwise, it is not taxable. Next one is what? Non-resident. For non-resident, foreign income is not taxable in India. So, we will write here, not taxable. Not taxable. Taxable, please be careful. Not taxable. Here, Indian income is taxable to everyone. Whether his residential status is resident and ordinary resident, resident but not ordinary resident, non-resident. Because it is Indian income, it is taxable. What is Indian income? Income accrued or arises in India or demo to be accrued or arises in India. Income received in India or demo to uh, uh, received in India. Right? Then what is foreign income? Doubt arises now. What is foreign income? Foreign income. Income accrues or arises outside India. Outside India and receive outside India. What is foreign income means? Foreign income means income which is accrued or arises outside India and means both. What it should be? It should be accrued outside India and received also outside India. Otherwise, it will become Indian income. Okay. To become foreign income, both should be satisfied. It should be received outside India and it should accrue or arise outside India. So, for the purpose of determination of scope of income as well as, as, well as basic exemption limit of individual, we need residential status. Not only for individual, for other persons also, for other persons also, if he is non-resident, Indian income is taxable. If such other person is, if such other person is resident, then global income is taxable. You can say global income is taxable. For whom? R O R. Who oh, is वो कैसे रहेगा ग्लोबल ग्लोब के जैसा रहेगा तो ग्लोबल इनकम इज टैक्सेबल टू हूं 
resident and ordinary resident a resident but not ordinary resident indian income is taxable but foreign income is taxable if it is having business connection in india or profession set up in india for non resident only indian income is taxable foreign income is not taxable clear till here so for the purpose of determination of total income and basic exemption limit we require residential status on the basis of residential status your total income which income to be included while computing your income from salary income from house property income from business or profession capital gain or other source by heads income calculate kar rahe hain computation while computing each head income whether it is indian income or foreign income we need to see after that you will get total income gross total income from that if you deduct the chapter 6a deductions net total income that net total income again will be classified as normal income and special income for normal income slab rate tax is there for special income flat rate tax is there okay what are the special incomes long term capital gain under section 112 20% short term capital gain on as securities std paid under section 311a 15% for long term capital gain on which you have paid std in case of securities transferred in recognized stock exchange then 112a what is 112a says up to 1 lakh rupees it is not taxable above 1 lakh rupees it is taxable at 10% and casual incomes winning from lotteries cross border purchases and etc okay betting gambling all those things bad habits 115 bb okay big boss house 115 days you should be there 115 days big boss house taxable at 30% winning prize winning prize is casual income taxable at 30% remember it so till here you have understood now let us know how to determine whether a person is rr rb एन आर आर एन आर नॉन रेजिडेंट है या रेसिडेंट एंड ऑर्डिनरी रेजिडेंट है रेसिडेंट बट नॉट ऑर्डिनरी रेजिडेंट है कैसे डिटरमाइन होगा वो देखिए क्लियर पॉजिटिव बेटू वेरी क्लियर दी बोर्ड क्लियर ओके रेजिडेंशियल स्टेटस ऑफ इंडिविजुअल वी आर डूइंग फर्स्ट सो इंडिविजुअल कैन बी इंडिविजुअल कैन बी resident or non resident based on the okay, some test conditions we need to check okay for the purpose of residential status of individual we need to test some conditions okay basic conditions and additional conditions are there how many are there basic conditions and additional conditions if you satisfy basic conditions you will be considered either resident or non resident based on the basic conditions if you become resident further additional conditions will be tested on the basis of additional conditions resident can be again classified as resident and ordinary resident resident but not ordinary resident based on additional conditions so what does these conditions are and how it will be work individual okay if if satisfy any one any one how many any one of basic condition which condition basic condition a or b either he should satisfy a or b then he will be considered as what he will become if he satisfy any one of the basic condition a or b then he will become resident what he will become resident banjata who will become he will become resident if does not satisfy any one 
any one, any one or none. Anyone it should satisfy. Is not satisfying anyone or none. Both. Okay. Both is not satisfying or basic condition. Anyone satisfied? Resident. If not satisfying anyone or none of basic condition will become what? Non-resident. What he will become? Non-resident one. If he is non-resident, for non-resident what happens? For non-resident what happens? If he becomes non-resident, what happens? Then? If he is non-resident, then what happens? For non-resident, basic exemption limit is 2,50,000 and only Indian income is taxable. Okay. Similarly, for resident, if he is satisfying any one, either A or B, here not, is, not satisfying any one. Okay. A, none of them satisfying A or B. Dono B, A B nice satisfy or A B satisfy nice or A. He is satisfying A. He will become resident. He is not satisfying B, but he is satisfying A. He will become resident. He is satisfying uh, is not satisfying A, but he is satisfying the B. Then also he will become resident. He is satisfying A and B. Then also resident. Any one or both, if he satisfy, he will become resident. Okay. For here, he is not satisfying A, not satisfying B also. Both is not satisfying. Then he will become non-resident. When he becomes resident, again we need to determine additional conditions. For the purpose of whether he is resident and ordinary resident or resident but not ordinary resident. Resident and ordinary resident are resident but not ordinary resident. Okay. Resident and ordinary resident. Resident and ordinary resident. When he will become resident and ordinary resident, both of additional conditions. Both of additional conditions satisfied. Both of additional conditions satisfied. One and two. How many additional conditions are there? One and two. Both of the additional conditions are satisfied. He will become what? Resident and ordinary resident. Okay. Resident but not ordinary resident. R B N O R. Resident but not ordinary resident. He is resident but not ordinary resident. For when he will become Resident but not ordinary resident. If he satisfies, if satisfy any one, any one or none, any one or none of additional condition. Dono may say, A key condition satisfy the way. Either A, either one or two is satisfying, or both is not satisfying, then he will become resident but not ordinary resident. What are they? What are this? These are additional conditions. Okay. One, or two. Okay. One or two, both if he is not satisfying or if he is satisfying any one, then he will become, then he will become resident but not ordinary resident. If he becomes resident but not ordinary resident, what happens? 
Indian income is taxable. Foreign income having business connection in India is taxable. Okay, clear. If he is become become resident and ordinary resident, global income is taxable. Clear till here. Sir, what are the additional conditions? What are the basic conditions? That is what we need to know. So I'll write here basic condition. Basic condition. Okay, BC. I'll say basic condition. Shortcut. I'm writing. One. Basic condition A. He or she should present in India in the previous year. In which year? In the current previous year. He or she. He or she should present in. India for a period of